I see a lot of little faces saying thank you. You do have a lot, don't you? There's so many dollars out there. Emmeline's not sure what to do first, <laughs> but she's getting really good at it. Okay, I don't want the big kids to answer this. I want the little kids to answer this, okay? Because I want to see if they can figure out what we have in here. Okay, so Miss Joanne has done up some fruit. Can you tell me what any of these fruits are? Um, Grapes. Uh -huh. Strawberries. And the little white pieces, what do you think that might be? Um, it's apples. Apples, you're right. Now, everybody will get one of these, but not till after Pastor gets done preaching, okay? Because these are wet and sticky and we don't want to make a mess in our church, right? We have to be reverent about everything. Okay, well, I'm going to lay these right here because this story is kind of about fruit. Can you imagine what this story must be about? Our Bible treasure says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no has no one than this that than to lay down one's life for his friends and we find this in john 15 verses 12 and 13. where is john found in the bible old testament or new testament new testament you're right okay so this is strawberry kindness so there's our key right there right so when you have a strawberry you can pick them yourself right and you can eat them if they're fresh right off your vine, if you've grown them, because you don't want any pesticides and stuff. But anyway, so to eat them, moms might remove the stems, or we could dip them in chocolate. Ooh, that is so good. We can slice them, and if they're not super sweet, we can add just a little bit of sugar or honey to them. That's how I like them. If they already are sweet, we wouldn't even need to add anything. You can serve strawberries, believe it or not, in a salad, on a kebab stick, there's your mommy, huh? And on ice cream or in smoothies. So this is, this is the challenge that this story has. Bright red strawberries are among the prettiest fruits in the world. In a contest of favorite fruits, they might be voted that the strawberries, the sweetest fruit in the world. Do you guys agree? No? I think grapes are maybe a little bit sweeter. But anyway, that's just my idea. Anyway, the most people would probably agree that strawberries are. The ones that you pick yourself are the best right off the vine. Whether you grow your own strawberries or buy them at the market, fresh strawberries are yummy. Strawberry season, and that's the season we have right now. Fruits, oh my goodness, love fruits. Uh, it's an ideal time to show kindness to people around you. Let's say maybe a person who's just moved in, or maybe an elderly person who can't get out and maybe do all this stuff for themselves, a shut-in. That would be somebody we could share fruit with, right? Just any excuse to go see them and 
take them a treat, because who doesn't like fresh fruit? What about a neighbor? Is there a neighbor in your neighborhood that you could think about that might like something? That's, an, that's something to think about, right? It might seem a little bit funny, but strawberries and friendship seem to be very good partners. Sharing something that you love might pave the way for a wonderful relationship and friendship that Jesus would be proud of. So next time you look at a strawberry, think about friendship, okay? So after church, I will be out in the foyer by the bench. You guys may come by and get a bag of fruit, okay? Happy Sabbath. <laughs>